Did you get to see the newest Echo trailer? Yes, I did. Um, yeah, actually, was I found it actually to be pretty good. Um, mm -hmm. I'm already really intrigued for the season to drop, um, which, yeah, I think, as you said, was going to be on Disney and Hulu. Um, so, yeah, really excited for it. Yeah. No, so it, it is going to premiere not only on Disney+, Plus but also on Hulu. And Echo is breaking a lot of different records for Marvel, which is awesome. But they're really trying like a whole new rollout schedule, which is kind of crazy. So typically, Marvel movies, Marvel shows, they'll release one episode a week. Um, and that's really just like garner audiences, really keep people captivated, tuning in. They're dropping all five episodes of Echo all at once on January 10th on both Disney Plus and on Hulu. How do you feel about that strategy? Do you think it's going to be good, bad? How do you, what do you think? You know, honestly, for me, when I, I just, I don't know, I, like a lot of people live a pretty busy life. So mm. when I do see a show I'm interested in and I do see the episodes, maybe two or three are out, Sometimes I'll just put it off for a couple of weeks until the whole thing is out and mm -hmm. then I'll binge it all in a weekend or I just, I don't know, that's my style. So yeah. for me, this is great. I'm like, okay, gonna go get my Ben and Jerry's and binge this. Okay. That is actually, okay. That's so interesting because I feel like I am the exact opposite in the sense that I, I usually just I don't know. Like I get so excited about seeing certain shows that I love, like Tokyo Vice. When that comes mm -hmm. out, I will be there wrapped every week, ready for this show to come out like I was last season. I don't even know if they're coming out with the second season of that show. It's also going to be the very first superhero series to center on a deaf and Native American character, which is awesome, mm -hmm. starring Alakwa Cox. And it's also going to be one of the first to be of rated TVMA. So for mature audiences only, and at the end of the trailer, they actually even showed like, set your settings to this and this and this, so you're able to access the content. Right. I feel like that's kind of crazy for Marvel, so it kind of tells me it's going to be a little juicier. It's also so funny because I feel like DC has kind of been like trying to Marvelify themselves, whereas Marvel is now trying to DCify themselves. The fact yeah. that it's rated for mature audiences, you know what I mean? Right. And you know, I think I think that's a great point too. Um, but I wonder if that is a strategy that they're hoping is gonna create more interest in the show. I know um, you know, especially as um it was evident in the trailer, one of the characters, Kingpin, um, from the Daredevil show that was on Netflix a couple years ago. I know that he's really a fan favorite. And I think even seeing in the trailer, him kind of beating up that guy, I think that's what the audiences kind of want. Maybe they want something that's a little more mature, that really lets some of the characters kind of sit in kind of the grit of who they are, feeling a little bit more grounded to their essence. And so maybe this is, gonna be a good thing I think and do you do you think there's anything to Marvel releasing the trailer this week when there's other negative Marvel news um, what? yeah I think I think they you know they're not stupid and there has been a lot going on so I think it is a good strategy to kind of put some good in what has been a bit of bad fortune for them lately. Mm -hmm. um, just some well, of the drama. So when we talk about bad fortune, we're talking about the, obviously the Jonathan Major scandal. The court case has not been dismissed as his lawyer had hoped. They have definitely rescheduled the trial. It's on, it's happening. And Marvel, um, you know, is in a lot of trouble if he gets convicted in the sense that totally. they were planning a whole big strategy to sort of make him the new Thanos in the next, yeah, in the next chapter of the Marvel universe. So it's, it's a big sort of like, I feel like there was strategy there where they were like, can somebody just look that way while we 
figured, we figured that out. This you, it here. reminds me of like the Chinese balloon situation. Do you remember that when, when the China's like spy balloon came into the state? or into the country, and then everybody was, like, looking over there, but really, they should have been looking at this crazy thing that happened. I mean, it's wild. Sorry, conspiracy yeah. theories, just for, like, a yeah. second. Yeah, no, no. No, I think, um, I think you're on with that. Um. Yeah, I'm super excited to see Echo, though. It seems like it's going to be a lot of fun. The director is putting a lot of time, effort, and love into this show, they even like went to go see real Choctaw powwows. Like they're really mm-hmm. trying to. Um, Alakwa Cox's character is supposed to be a part of the Choctaw uh, tribe, and so they've done all of his research and all this deep diving to really make sure that that's as authentic as possible. Alakwa Cox herself is from the Blackfeet tribe, so I mean, we mm-hmm. love to see it. It really sounds like they're trying to like dig their feet, like hands in, and just go. And, you know, I think it's, I really don't think it could have come at a better time too. I think, you know, I know another issue just with Marvel, especially during pandemic was just dropping a lot of content, mm-hmm. a lot of superhero stuff. Yeah. I think, I think I won't lie. I think, you know, some superhero fatigue has been going on, but I think this is something that's, it's, it's, it's a different story. You know, it's something that is going to, I think, garner a lot of interest just because, you know, it's something that's not really in the mainstream media so much. So it is always really interesting mm-hmm. and I think it's going to be great. It's really going to help hopefully educate people in the right way as well. Yeah, absolutely. I feel the same way. So everybody tune in on January 10th. If you guys want to catch the newest Marvel show that will be premiering Echo, uh, it looks very cool. Uh, always remember to check back daily obviously we are oh so curious and remember to like like share subscribe do all of those things because it helps us do what we do 